Good morning and welcome to Arthur S. Junior Elementary School. This is our fourth grade class and today we're going to be learning about place value. Is everybody ready? Yes. Two thumbs up if we're ready for place value. All right. We're going to start with a number talk this morning to get our brains going. Remember when you know the answer to your number talk, you can put your hand on your heart. Thumb up if you know the answer. While you're waiting, if you can think of a second answer. Two thumbs, three thumbs. Ready? So if you can think how to solve in your head. I see some thumbs. Shimon, what answer did you get? I got 90, um, 96. I mean 106. Say again? 106. 106. KV on, what answer did you get? I see a lot of me too's. Me too's. Shimon, let's look at your 106. Tell me what you did. So what I did was I took the um, 6 and the 9 and I added them, which I did I got it. Okay, so you pulled out the 6 and the 9. And what did you get when you added 6 plus 9? Say again? 16. So let's think about that. If I have 9 and I add 6 to it. Okay, so do you want to change your answer? So then what did you do? So then you pulled the 40 and the 50, or the 50 down? I wrote those backwards, didn't I? Then what'd you do? There you go. So you see where your mistake was? Yeah. Yeah, you had one extra right there. Okay, mm -hmm. Vion, how did you solve the problem? Um, you did about the same things Shimon did. Did anybody do something different? Grayson? I did like, I did it with place value blocks. You did it with place value blocks? Tell me how you thought about that. Um, I did like four rods, which equals four tens. Okay, so in your head, you thought this? You were thinking something like that, and you knew that meant what? That meant 40. Okay. And then I just did 6. And oh, then you did 6 like cubes? Yeah. Okay. So you were thinking about breaking that apart in your head. And then I did 5, five rods. Okay. And then I just added the, 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 it's basically like your mind, but with so you were, th you, thinking, you were thinking about breaking it apart in your head. Okay. Madison, we'll do one more. I can't be doing it like Grayson, but I did it. Okay. Okay. So who, did anybody solve it different than Grayson and Shimon and Kavion? Amarjane and I did. Okay. What did you guys do, Ms. Roldan? Amarjane? 
Oh, uh, where'd you get the one from? From that 46. Okay, so we subtracted a one and added it to the 59. And when we add that one to the 59, what do we get, Amar J? It's going to be 60. Okay, and then what did you do? 45, yep. So 60 plus 45. Okay. So when you did 60 plus 45, what did you come out with? You came out with 105. Nice job. All right, everybody who worked on the problem in your head this morning, give yourself a pat on the back. So now that our brains are worn up, warmed up and we thought about some place value today, um, we are going to actually explore place value using some base 10 blocks. So Ms. Roldan, if you'll help me, each table should get a bucket. So let's remind ourselves that when we're working with blocks, can you guys scoot your desk together? Yeah, you just can scoot this. There. There we go. Grayson, if you slide around. There's this. Nice. So let's remind ourselves when we're working with classroom tools that we are going to use our classroom materials responsibly. So where should our materials stay today? On our desk. On our desk. Excellent. Does everybody get to touch the materials? Yes. Absolutely. What happens if something falls on the floor? Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. So take a minute and look and see what you have in your bins. And talk to your partner at your table about what you see. What is this one? Okay. Uh, what are these? One. So now that we've had a minute to explore our place value blocks, Mario, you said something to me about the big cube. How many are in that big cube? A thousand. And how did you know that that was a thousand? That is ten hundred. It's ten hundreds. Which one is the hundred? So it takes ten of the hundreds to make the cube. So it's a thousand. How do I know that this one is a hundred? Samira? It has ten tens in it which is our rod, okay? So this morning, we're working with whole numbers in place value. So we need to define what our whole is, and this is one whole, okay? The tiny little cube is one whole. So at your table, I'm gonna ask you and your group to build a number, all right? You're gonna build a number using the place value blocks. So we're gonna start out by building 347. Build with your group. We're going to build one number in your group. 347. 347. Okay, let's count our ones again. Go ahead and count your ones again, okay? So now that you have 347, I want you to add 52. She's asking you to add 50. This is only one more. Add 52. If I have 347 and I added 52, what do I have now? 399. 
Do we need the thousand? No. So what did we end up with when we added fifty-two? Three hundred ninety-seven. So did we have enough to trade out the rods for a flat? Wait, 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 wait. One. So can we trade anything? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So we took 347 and then we added 52. What did we come up with, Cody? Three hundred ninety-nine. Did we have any blocks to trade out? No. Not yet. What do we know about place value? Let's think for a minute. What do we know about place value? What do we know about place value? Samira? That um, place value have ten values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4. Okay, and what do we call those that you just said? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Place. What do we call those? Place. Can we ask Shimon? Yeah. Shimon? Digits. Say nice and loud. Digits. Digits. How many digits can occupy one place? How many digits? can occupy one place. Madison? How many digits can be in each place? Let's ask Mario. Mario, how many digits can be in each place? One digit can be in each place. So. We are discovering what happens when we add additional digits in our place value rods. Did we have to trade this time? No. no. How many not, how many 10 rods do we have? Nine. Shimon? Nine. nine. How many one rods do we have, Kavion? Nine. nine. Can a nine be in one place by itself? No. Yes. Yes, it can. It can be in its place by itself. If I added 21 more, oh, let's make it 22. If I added 22 more, what would I have to do? Work at your table? John Michael, if we add 22 more, what are we gonna what are we gonna do? Trade that for a 10. For 10. Let's go ahead and do that. You don't need to wait on it. Right now, how many of these do you have? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11. 12. Okay. So how many of these do we need to trade in for that? 10. All right. So let's go ahead and put these 10 away. Put your other 100 in here. So we have 400. So, can I have 11 ones in the ones place? 
So I could write this as 400, 10, 11? What would I have to do? What do you think I have to do, Marky? Subtract. Well, I still have to, so I added, so I can't subtract. What should I do? Can I have 11 ones in the ones place? What should I do? Okay, Adam, where? What do you think of RJ? Okay, how would I, how would I change this to a 10? Trade it with a 10. Okay, let's do it. So let's talk about what we discovered during place value. Uh, we talked a minute ago and we said only one digit can occupy each place. One digit can occupy each place. So when I added 347 and 52, I ended up with what number? Cody? 399. And then when I added the 22 to the 399, what number did I end up with? Samira? 421. So the 9 is in the 1's place, and the 2 is in the 1's place. So the 9 and the 2 together become what? Grayson? Okay, before they became what? The 11. They became the 11. Can I put an 11 in this place? No. Why? Mario, why? Because that's not, that's, that's two-digit number. It's a two-digit so number, number. And I can only have one digit in each place. So what did I have to do? What did we discover? What did we discover? Amar J? We have to take away the 10 and put Okay, so this digit right here Pen is not cooperating today, guys. So Amar J said we had to trade those singles for a, a 10. A rod. A rod. All right. Thank you for joining Mrs. Long's class today to learn something about place value.